for decades, contaminated land on Leech Lake has said to be poisoning band members. And for years, officials have been trying to put the poisoning to an end. On Wednesday, residents weighed in on the process, and our Brenda Mack has the latest. Let us have some peace here, and let us get our community cleaned up. That's what we deserve. We don't deserve another containment vault in our community. Leech Lake residents have made their voices heard. I think this is a really serious issue. It's airborne contamination. And they stand their ground. Their demand is simple. They want safety. They want toxin off their backyards. People are getting sick. People are dying. They say, yeah, it's low-level toxins. But them low-level toxins are hurting our communities, are hurting our wildlife. Now right here behind me is the hazardous Superfund site that's deemed a health risk for many residents. Now the EPA says their proposal to bury the dirt deeper underground is safe as these dioxins are stuck to the soil and not run through water. But many residents are still not convinced. I shouldn't have to worry if my son's going to have clean drinking water when I'm gone or if, if the land he's living on is, is toxic or not. So it's really these meetings and all these things that we're doing today is really going to play a major role in, in what's going to happen in, in 50 years. So we're looking at not having one person. We're looking at having zero people get sick. That's the goal. If one person gets sick, you're too late. Yet some say it is already decades too late. You know, from, from what I know, the EPA is making some strides, but 30 years of toxins is a long time, and a lot of people have died in this community. The EPA continues to take in public feedback through September and hopes to finalize a decision soon after. I would like to get to a decision and get started into the next phase and actually get out there and clean people's homes up because that's, you know, all the work we're doing now doesn't actually clean something up. We want to get in there, move the soil and get clean soil on people's properties. Even so, any groundwork on site will likely be two years away. But tribe officials say every input is vital, and it's optimistic that their comments would not fall on deaf ears. In Leech Lake, Brenna Mack, Lickton News. Residents are also encouraged to send their comments to the EPA by email or fax. We'll have those details available on our website. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.